This is video number nine for considering different types of problems in uh, flow rate analysis. Uh, the playlist for all the videos is uh, featured at the website digital-university.org. Okay, uh, in this video, you want to consider not a flow rate expansion for the uh, sine wave, but when you take the absolute value of the sine wave. So it would look like this. And here again, obviously, the period for our function of interest is just pi. And remember from, I think it's in video one and also in video five, we discussed that omega naught equals two pi divided by the period, or in this case, less pi. So, Omega naught just equals two for other problem. The reason why bring this to your attention is because <coughs> we're going to use these formulas here. We have discussed these in the first video, where we have n omega naught t sine and omega naught t. For omega naught, you can think of it as an angular frequency, and angular frequency multiplied by time gives us an angle. And in this case, omega naught is just 2. So this would be 2 n t, 2 n t. Now, our flow rate coefficients are this, and again, this would be the sine of t in each case, and here we'll have a cosine. 2nt, and down here we'll have sine 2nt. So let's um, let's start with a coefficient a sub n. So a sub n equals 2 divided by pi times the integral from 0 to pi times the sine of t times the cosine of 2nt dt. And for a sub 0, n is 0, the cosine of 0 is 1, we have 1 over the period, so A0 equals 1 over the pi, over the pi, times this integral, just the sine of t, t, so that equals this is minus the cosine of t, of course, so minus 1 over pi times the cosine of t. And t goes from 0 to pi. So a sub 0, that equals minus 1 over pi times the cosine of pi minus the cosine of 0. That's 1, and this is negative 1. So negative 1 minus 1, this expression is negative 2, so that will become plus 2 over pi. So there's our expression for a sub 0. Now we have to figure out how we're going to determine a sub m. Now here we have one function times another function, and in all the previous videos we were able to solve the integral then by using uh, integrating by parts. Here though, uh, thinking of some basic trig identities can help us out. Remember that the sine of a plus b 
that sine A cosine B plus cosine A sine B. Same thing here, except now this becomes minus sine. Now, if we add these two expressions together, these cancel out. These are the same. So we'll have 2 times the sine of A times the cosine of B. Or sine of A times the cosine of B equals this expression. We'll have the sine of these two added together plus the sine of A minus B. Now our integral has sine of T cosine 2 and T. So here we have sine of T cosine 2 and T. So that will equal the sine of this plus this plus the sine of this minus this. So we can put this now into our integral expression. And before we do, let's just take one more step here. Let's factor this t out of here. So this is one half Here we have the sine of 1 plus 2n times t plus the sine of 1 minus 2n times t. So this is now going to be used in place of this. And since we have a plus sign here, let's just go ahead and break the integral up into two parts. Now notice we have 2 over pi times 1 half, so we're going to have 1 over pi. So we should have then 1 over pi times this integral plus 1 over pi with this integral. So let's go back to the whiteboard and fill this in. So a sub n equals 1 over pi, and we have the integral from 0 to pi, and then we have the sine of 1 plus 2n t dt plus 1 over pi, integral from 0 the pi, and now we're going to have the sine of 1 minus 2n times t dt. Again, this comes from this right here. Okay, so these should be pretty simple to integrate. So integral of the sine is minus the cosine, so we're going to have that a sub n will equal minus 1 over pi, and we have 1 plus 2n, and we have a cosine 1 plus 2nt. And t goes from 0 to pi. And we also have this integral. And here we're going to have minus 
I say minus now because the integral of cosine is minus the sine. So minus 1 over pi divided by 1 minus 2n times the cosine of 1 minus 2n t t goes from 0 to pi. So we have these two expressions. Let's see where they take us. Here we have a sub n equals minus 1 over pi times 1 plus 2n. And here we substitute pi for t. So we have the cosine 1 plus 2n times pi minus, now t is 0, cosine of 0 is 1. Then from here we have minus 1 over pi times 1 minus 2n got to keep things in focus times the cosine of 1 minus 2n now t is pi minus t is 0, the cosine of 0 is 1 so this is the kind of expression that we're getting for a sub n. Now, notice that this right here is always going to be an odd number. Because here this is always even. An even number plus an odd number is an odd number. And the cosine of any odd multiple of pi, whether it's pi, 3 pi, 5 pi, 7 pi, etc., that's negative 1. So, in each case, here and here, this is negative 1. So, let's see what we have. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 1 plus minus 1. That's negative 2. Here's a negative sign. That gives us plus 2. So, a sub n Two over pi times one plus two n. Now, what do we have in this part? This is negative one minus one is negative two. And we have another negative sign out here, so that's plus two over pi times one minus two n. And notice we're going through these steps slowly, and that's because when there's a lot of steps involved, it's very easy to make a mistake. So don't be in a hurry when you're doing these kind of problems. Take your time. Um, and let's see, what is this going to be? It should be pretty simple now. We have... We could back up a 1 over pi, I guess. So a sub n, uh, let's just make some room. Okay, a sub n equals 1 over pi, and then we have 2 divided by 1 plus 2n plus 2 divided by 1 minus 2n. So it's just a very simple algebra. We can 
get ourselves an expression then for a sub n. So we'll equal 1 over pi, and here we'll have 2 times this, 2, 1 minus 2n, plus 2, 1 plus 2n, divided by this times this, so we'll have 1, and then the cross terms cancel, we have minus 4n squared. Okay, and here we have minus 4n, and here we have plus 4n, so those cancel, and we have 2 plus 2, that's 4. So we have a sub n is equal to 1 to 4 over pi times 1 minus 4n squared. So here's our expression then for a sub n. Now all we need is our expression for b sub n, and then we can put everything together and derive our formula. And don't forget now, I think a naught, or uh, yes, a naught that came out to be equal to 2 over pi. Alright, I don't know if we have enough time in this video to figure out b sub n, so come back, join us in the next video, we'll figure out an expression for b sub n, and we'll put everything together, and finally we'll get our formula. So come back, join us for that video, and I'll finish off this problem.